All right, um, ladies and gentlemen. So to go ahead and multiply these, all you simply need to do is apply FOIL. I'm going to do this a little bit quicker, though. Apply a FOIL for the top. So 3 times square root of 5 is 3 square root of 5. Um, do my outer. 3 times square root of 2 is going to be plus 3 square root of 2. Negative square root of 10 um, times uh, square root of 5 is going to be a negative square root of 50. And therefore, then I have, uh, I forgot to do my, um, Square root, negative square root of 10 times negative uh, square root of 2 is going to be equal to a, I'm sorry, a negative square root of 20. Does everybody see, see how I did my first, my outer, my inner, and my last? Does everybody see how I multiplied for my FOIL? Now, what's nice about the denominator, my denominator, I don't have to go through all those steps, Ryan, because in my denominator, I know it's a difference of two squares. So I could do FOIL. But what I notice is my outer and my inner, my outer and my inner is both going to give me, this is going to give me square root of 10, and this will give me negative square root of 10. What's the square root of 10 plus negative square root of 10? It's just going to be 0, correct? So my middle terms divide to, or add to 0. So all I simply need to do is multiply to give me the square root of 25. So multiply my first and multiply my last, which is negative square root of 4. So now we just simplify. Um, I can't combine these. These, don't, or these aren't like terms, right? The index is the same, but the radicand's not. Does everybody agree? So I can't combine them. Can I simplify the square root of 50, though? Yes, let's just do a little work over here. Square root of 50, 50 is not a square number, but I can take the square root of it. That's 25 times 2, which is 5 square root of 2. What about square root of 20? Square root of 20 uh, square, is 20 a square number? Nope, but I can rewrite that as 4 times 5. So I'm just showing a lot of steps. You guys can probably simplify a lot of these steps. Anyways, you have 3 squared of 5 plus 3 squared of 2 minus, instead of square root of 50, I'm going to write minus 5 squared of 2. And instead of square root of 20, I'm going to do 2 squared of 5 all over square root of 5, 25 is 5, minus square root of 4 is 2. Can I now, simp do these now have like terms? Ah, hold on please. Do these now have like terms I combine? Excuse me. Hold on, so 3 squared of 1 is 1 square root of 5, minus 2 square root of 5, all over 3. Um, I still have your homework to pass out to you. If you could just sit down for a second, I'll pass those out for you. Thank you very much.